Welcome back to TSN 690, the first half. I'm Paul Debaye and joining us in studio, super, super Monsieur Quebec. This oh. is how I this is how I introduce you, uh, Benoit. He is a Quebec personality. He's an entrepreneur. He does it all. And when we get to know him, you'll understand why I'm saying that. He's ben. on the super, though. No, Just dude, go easy on the super, please. It's true, though. Does everybody oh. hear that voice? I'm going to get shy. No, listen. Does everybody hear that voice? Uh, this is... It's all rented. No, oh, man. Yeah. It's... It's smooth. not mine. I have to. Smooth, I have to bring man. it back on Saturday. <laughs> it is smooth. Uh, ben, thank you. Benoit, merci. Thank you for joining us. Well, studio. thank you so much for having me. Um, so, listen for the um, the listeners that are not here in Montreal. Yeah. That fall the first half. Oh, there yeah. are one or two. Um, can you give us a little bit of a background? On well, what you do. Well, I, I'm, I'm a big list. Well, it's a big list, but I, first of all, I'm I, I'm I'm uh, mainly a, a TV and radio host. That's what I've been doing for the last uh, 35 years now. Celebrated 35 years on October 4th. So yeah, thank you so much. And if you're asking, I started. I was two years old. So um, so young, <laughs> so young and fresh. Yes, but uh, started my career in uh, Moncton, New Brunswick, because uh, I didn't go to school much. And I knew that there was a uh, a great program in communications uh, in Moncton, and I uh, I tried and they, they 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 accepted me, so I went there. And after the uh, first half of the first year, I decided to quit going to my classes because there was that little radio, a French radio station over there, and I learned more like by being there every day and 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 replacing people who would not show up and just hosting my shows and stuff like that. I was coming in like at seven in the morning and just waiting to see who would not show up uh if i could participate in one of the shows and whatever you know so i spent five uh, yeah and I, I did that i i hosted country shows without knowing country music i hosted jazz shows without knowing nothing about about jazz music and everything but i was there and i was learning and everything so i spent five years over there Great time, great people, a lot of uh, sports activities. I, I was doing the um, the uh, PM drive uh, on the radio show, but I was doing, uh, back in the days, the uh, Winnipeg Jets uh, farm team was in Moncton. So I would do the play-by-play -play during the night on the radio. And then Les Aigles Bleus de l'Université de Moncton, the, the hockey team over there was doing the wow. broadcast, the play-by-play. -play. So I did that for five years. Was was great fun. I was working on every concert that would come in, in Moncton. As a roadie, but local roadie, so I did work on uh, on some shows. Of course, I did Metallica twice. I'm a big Metallica fan. Oh yeah, so I did that. But many country shows, Shania Twain, Brian Adams. I did all the shows that were coming in. But as a like liaison in between the in the, the sort of the bell, no, I was up no no action. No, yeah, well, they, they would uh, like uh, you you show up in the morning and then uh, they uh, ask you to go with the sound guy. So for that show, you you were working on sound. So the, you you move you know just move speakers and stuff like that and. Uh, it was it was just you know to be there and see shows for free, right? That's so cool. Yeah. What a good. I, yeah, amazing. it was fun. So I did that for five years, and then I came back to uh, to Quebec, and I uh, I'm from Quebec City originally, and uh, I uh, I I had a a little radio job in uh, Montmagny near Quebec City, did the uh, weekend shows, and then there was. Uh, oh, but did you apply for these jobs, or did they? Come I did, you? but I knew I knew people. I, I'm I'm a good I'm a good salesman. So I, I'm I'm good to sell people, but for me it's always a bit difficult. But for that it was easy, you know, because I really wanted to do that. Passion was pushing, so I uh, I thought that it was good for me to call them and make sure that uh, things would would happen, right? Sure. So they uh, they they picked me. I did like six months over there, and there was an opening at TV Quebec, and I became the sports guy over there. And then I did Salut Bonjour in the uh, yeah. the weekend show, and that's historic. Well, it's the, the province. It's the biggest morning show uh, in in the French TV uh, uh, environment. So, yeah, I, I did that for eight years, and then the rest is history. And I'm still doing that, and I'm still having like butterflies every time I go on the air. And I love what I'm doing. Does it, would that show specifically yeah. changed everything? Right? Like, is it? Well, when of you, course. Within your within the industry, and I am, I am as new to this as you can imagine. Yeah. When it takes that one sort of catalyst to yeah. change the entire trajectory, right? Of, totally. Of, of the of your of your plan. Yes, because you're you're every morning in in people's uh living room or kitchen or wherever the TV is at home. And you watch that kind of, of show like you uh listen to radio. Right? It's it's like it's like radio with with 
images. Yeah. And then you can uh, get the, the kids ready for school. You do your lunch, uh, you get out of the shower, but the TV is playing in the back, right? So you're listening to it. And sometimes when there's a, a topic that really talks to you, then you look at the TV and you watch what's going on. Mm -hmm. But mostly it's like, it's like a radio show on TV. And uh, of course, you you uh, you go through uh, through uh, different uh, ages of, of people. There's there's like uh, there's so many families who are watching the show that you become part of the family. You you they know you. I'm not Benoit guy. No, I'm I'm Ben from the TV show in the morning, right? Yeah. So you get that uh, connection with them, and this is very precious to me. Do you uh, feel that? Brings... Do you feel oh. that when you're in the no, but when you're out in public, yeah, it comes up to you. Listen. Uh, I have a story that connects every day. story to your story. Every day. Yeah. I walk with that face every day. So, you know, they, they know me and I'm just like them. I'm not, a, I'm not a TV star. I'm not a radio star. I'm a guy who, who, who's passionate by, by communications, by sports, by, by many, many, many things, music, by yeah. music, of course. But, uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm that guy. I'm, I'm not a superstar. I'm not a radio star. I'm not a TV star. I'm one of the guys. I'm, I'm just one of them. And that's the relationship that we, uh, that we built for like 35 years well, now. So that's... Well, so this is another one of my questions for yeah. you. There's over 35 years. Uh -huh. You've you watched the content sphere. Yeah. Radio, then television, visual pictures. I mean, there has been a mass... And then you're now... Internet. It, well, it, and then internet. social media. It, it's, <laughs> it really oh, you remember that, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So I, 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 um, I had the chance. I mean, for me, this is a privilege to... to to be able today to talk about it and and that I lived all those major uh, changes in the way of uh, of how the business works, but how we communicate with each other, mm -hmm. and uh, things are going real fast right now. It's instantly on social media when something happens, so then you can react on it. You can have a reaction. You can have an interview. You can have a specialist. You, it's easy to reach someone to answer your questions and everything. So it it's it's like a tool, right? It's like, it's like, it's absolutely, we have cool. great tools right now to do whatever we want to do. We had to be more creative, I think, back in the days because we didn't have as much as we have right now to work with. But uh, yeah, it, it's, it's not easier, but we're, you know, better equipped right now. Is, so. is the market, uh, I'm going to use, we're going to, we're going to speak specifically here in Montreal yeah. and Quebec. Mm -hmm. Is the entertainment market here in Quebec as strong and as robust as ever before or uh, due to the way content yeah. and is, is again anybody can use their phone to create a show in their basement. Totally. Um, has that affected it in a positive or a negative way in the in the overall? We could talk about this for like days because there's some great stuff that it's you know that 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 we can see and with we can use on on uh, social media and stuff like that. And there's some boring stuff, but it's there. Sometimes I talk with people, or I'm just at a restaurant. Let's say I'm, I'm having dinner with you. And on the next table, people talk, you know, they talk about something that usually I would not be aware of, but I know exactly what they're talking about because I saw it somewhere on Facebook, on Instagram, on a radio show, wherever. And I'm, you know, I don't need that information, but it's here. Someone because you've seen told it me this it up somewhere. Exactly. Wow. And I don't need that on my day-to-day -day, uh, list and uh, what a, when, I, when I host my show or something. So it's, it's a lot. Uh, I think that we uh, we need to we need to um, think about how we use all that though because there's so much to to see to learn and there's a lot of crap on that too right it, it, it's not always fun and 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 um, but that's interesting in market, and that's in any in any subject matter yes but I, I think that it's it's way too much for me right now because I'm I'm um, I'm always using my phone I'm always using my social media I have to be on, on top of my game all the time and be aware of what's going on right but sometimes I'm like am I wasting my precious time right now on this I don't I don't need to see this I don't need to know about this and everything so yeah it 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 affected our way to uh, communicate to trust to learn to be uh, to be in contact to be informed on what's going on but uh, you you need to you need to do a, a little cleanup once in a while. For sure. We're talking with Ben Gagnon here in um, a TSN 690 studio on the first half. This is a real pleasure to speak with you. And one of the things that runs deep within the first half is the culture of football yes. and community and all of those things. We'll talk community in a moment because you are a huge proponent of, of doing what you can to give back. That is the one thing. That, it's kind of important, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. But it, it's important for some people and not for others. But yes. Before we get into, you know, 
Praising Ben. <laughs> we before we get to that, we got. I didn't know you guys had sound effects. <laughs> yeah, man, dude, we, this is this is this is an all-stop show, baby. There you go. No, no, no. Yeah. Um, football. Yes. Soccer. Love it. When I it, well, Why? this is what's exciting for me is when I got to know you again. The way you we, we the passion runs deep on this side. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. The desk. Yes. When I found out you were in football. I love it. I nearly blew right, right out of my jeans. So I don't I don't know football as much as did, you do because you're more into the culture of football and everything that goes around it. But I'm a big fan of of performances, whatever the sport is. But soccer, I love it. Yeah. So tell me oh, a little. I'm sorry. I said I, I said soccer. Are you, you can say soccer. No, 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 are you, are you I'm offended? Not offended. No, I don't. Yeah, you know, buddy. I know you. You get offended no. easily. Oh. Oh yeah. I'm offended by that comment. There you now go. I'm offended. See, I That's was right. True. It is not true. <laughs> Uh, soccer, um, football, footy, whatever you want to call Pascal it. Pascal uh, say all the uh, soccer. And listen to me. <laughs> this is TSM 690. First half. I'm working on English my English right now. I'm doing a, a major effort. You know what we need to do? What? One day, because I got to convince somebody we're going to do the show, we're going to do the show bilingue. Okay. Once we parler en français, everyone's going to be like, please don't do that again. Yeah, I'll be the first one saying that. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what? This interview is See? over. No, okay. offended I'm offended, again. offended again. Yeah, okay. <laughs> tell me when Tell me when you got into soccer. Tell me when your family got into soccer. Yeah. When did it become uh, a real thing? Because it's not in, pa c'est pas en passant. It's not in passant. No. It's part of your life. Well, I've been playing sports and doing sports since I'm like uh, almost five years old. My dad was a big sports fan. And I'm the oldest at home. I have a younger brother who's uh, three years uh, younger than me. But for my dad, it was important for me to play and do sports and whatever. So I played baseball. I played soccer. I played foot. I, everything. Like I was in all teams and everything. And uh, the first, my first gig <laughs> was uh, in a baseball team, and uh, I loved it. And I was, I was kind of good. So I played provincials and everything. I, Manon Réon. The goalie, the, the the hockey goalie. Yeah. She was my catcher. Her her brother was our pitcher, and uh, we were on the all star team uh, in Quebec City, and it was it was a blast. And the first time that I played, uh, they gave me the uh, jersey with the the number twenty. So number twenty is the number that I still wear today. I race cars. I've been racing for eighteen years, and on my cars, it's always number twenty. So they gave me that that jersey, and it became my That's lucky tough. number. And it's funny because my youngest, uh, I have I have three kids. And Charles, my youngest kid, uh, played soccer for the first time a few years ago. And when he came back with his mom from the like the uh, the first day and the first practice, yeah. Then they, you know, they throw away like the, the, the number, jerseys and everything. No. And he caught number twenty. Mm -hmm. so he's playing with number twenty right now. That's kind of funny. So baseball first, and then and then soccer. And um, I was uh, living uh, not, you know. How do you say that? Like north of Quebec City, and uh, there was none of enough kids to do one team. So we would be like a few cities together with the best players playing in one team. Yeah. So I played. Uh, I played for that team for like six or seven years. Amazing. Loved it. Like all my all my friends were playing hockey and everything. But since we we our house was way off Quebec City, uh, um, my dad was always like, it, "There's no way I'm gonna get up at 4:30 in the morning for practice. Right. This will not happen." Seven, I can do that. Four thirty, that's yeah. a big no. But I, I really wanted to play hockey because all my friends at school were playing hockey. But soccer was my thing, and I loved it. Played, uh, you know, high level in Quebec City till right. fifteen, sixteen, seventeen years old, and baseball as well at the same time, and football in my school. So Are you Dion Sanders been doing everything, kind of without the salary, without the salary. <laughs> that's not true. Oh, yeah, that's not talk shy. Yeah. No, but so then, were you able to follow? actual football going on or in the rest of the world yeah in, in Europe yeah Be well yeah I'm the one who hosted the uh, French Canadian version of the fear factor so we shot the show uh, in Buenos Aires in Argentina yeah. so yeah I saw like 40 matches or something 40 games you Easy. live oh yeah yeah I saw River played uh, like 15 times playing what? Yeah, yeah. I've seen one River Plate and Boca Juniors game. No. Yeah, and, and you know what? Is it that crazy? Is it as crazy as everybody says? Think about crazy, and it's crazier. Like, really. Uh, like, six months before I went to see that game, there was a huge fight before the game and after the game, and there was, like, one or two dead people there. Like, people That's were the, yeah. killed, yeah. literally, by fans of the other team. So my uh, my guide over there was like, uh, well, you we have to go see the next game, and I was like, okay, when's the game? They didn't place 
the uh, the next game between the two teams yeah. in the uh, schedule, because people like that since they didn't they, they didn't have the time to get ready and like too excited about the next game and everything, so it was announced the day before. So I went to that game, and when you come to the to, to the stadium, you know that they're gonna ask you for what team you're gonna cheer, and then you can go on this side or on this side. And my uh, I said my guide because we had a, a guide. He was our driver and everything yeah. because uh, it was paid by the TV production the company. So we uh, he was a big River Plate uh, fan. So uh, we were on that side. I can show you on my phone. I'm I'm following the team on my on my phone and the fans. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So while you're it's walking crazy. to the stadium. Uh, there's like, uh, I would say 10 to 15 streets before the stadium. Everything is locked and, and, and blocked and Shut everything. Shut down. Everything. Nothing. But the, the ground is, is moving while you're walking to the stadium. It's, it's, I don't get impressed real, you know, real that easy often. that often with that. But at that moment, I was not at home. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, it was kind of crazy. I knew what I happened. Well, of, course, right? of course, because I knew what happened at the last game, you know? So I get there and... Neutral colors? Did you wear... Did you actually choose a team? I was wearing the River Plate uh, jersey because I was with the guys over there, right? So um, we get into the stadium and I, I remember I, just, I, was, I was speechless. It was crazy. I mean, they are nuts. If you want to know how it goes, if you love music, there's a great concert by ACDC shot at river plate okay yeah, yeah. just watch them on on the on the floor yeah that's how crazy they are and that's just for fun it's, it's just a music show but if you want to see visually how it looks like yeah. it's exactly like that there's so, some amazing copa 90 documentaries well. yeah yeah but the, the history of the of the clubs over there you know it's it's crazy it's it's messi's country i mean they they're they are crazy about football about soccer over there but uh, it was funny because I remember that game, River Plate won. And uh, at the end of the game, we stayed 45 minutes in the stadium because they needed to evacuate the, the, the Boca fans and to give them enough time to walk really far from the stadium. Yeah. But we stayed 45 minutes in the stadium. Yeah, yeah, and all the yeah. time they were dancing, cheering, and, and, and singing in Spanish. And I was like, what are they singing? I'm not. I'm not gonna be able right here, right now, to tell you what they were saying. But it was. It was. Oh my God! It was bad. Yeah. It was really and bad. Not friendly. No. No. Not at we, all. Uh, have you had a chance? Uh, wow! What a great story. I was crazy. And I love these. I, love I would this. go. The whole point of this show is yes. to talk to people and get these beautiful stories. Yeah. I would. I would go tomorrow night. I would go tonight if there was a game again. And that that atmosphere. And then you go. Uh, bless you. And then you go. Uh, have a great steak. The steaks in Argentina are crazy. That's it, right? Like you, and the food the nice. On the oh streets. god, everything. The whole the atmosphere uh, before for, and after. Yeah. Uh, are you following MLS? Yes, of course. I love to go uh, and uh, see a few games here. I love our team. Uh, it's it's kind of um, how how can I say that? I love our team. I would love for us to have more success that we have because I think that we deserve it. You know, the... Uh, as Montrealers, you mean? As yes, team, as yeah, fans and everything. Fans, yeah. We're big uh, sports fans here. When there's an event, I was hosting the uh, President's Cup a few weeks ago. You were there. We saw each other. People would show up at 5.30 in the morning to make sure that, you know, they would be near, right. like, the tee off or something to see their favorite uh, player. That's how we are here. So so when we when Messi was in town, I was there. Thank you again. You, you helped me with the tickets over there. But uh, do I owe you something? You owe me a smile like the gym right now. <laughs> Come on. But it was it was crazy. People were happy to see him. And they will remember that day for the rest of their life, right? So we need we need we need the chance to celebrate the championship. Uh we need the, the chance to to go to the game and say, you know what, we do have a shot to win tonight. We we might win that game again because our players are good and everything. The energy is gonna be there. The fans are there. That's that stadium is full. It's Montreal, man. I know. We're into football. You, now, you want you want a funny story? Yeah. I used to own uh, Radio Lounge, which is a, a bar that was here in Montreal a few years ago in, on Saint Laurent Street. Uh, entrepreneur. Yes. I say Milan was playing in Montreal. They came a few years ago, right? Remember that? It was a it was a uh, how do you say that? No, the, not, not a regular yeah, game. Yeah. No, a few years ago. Is it Real Madrid? Is it Real Madrid when they were using they were using um, the training ground as one of their uh, locations? AC Milan never came here. 
Not that I remember. And there's an AC Milan fan sitting across from us. So in yeah. Luca, I it misunderstood. It was Real. Very long time. Wow. Well, yeah, it was like 15 years ago. 15, 16 years ago. Well, Luca wasn't even born. I wasn't yeah, born. Yeah, Sorry, bro. So see, like see, see. Offended again. Offended again. <laughs> <laughs> But this also is a it was not a regular game because they're playing, of course. But they were doing that tour yeah. in, in the world, in North America yeah, yeah, or right. something, yeah, and they yeah. came to Montreal. Yes. So I'm at home. Oh yes, and then they went to play in New England. Thank you very yes. much. Yes. So I receive a call. It's like 11 p.m. At, I'm at home that night. I'm not. I'm not at the club and everything. So one of my friend is like, er, er, "You won't believe what just happened." I was like, "What happened?" He goes, "Your security guys," because. The, the players were having dinner somewhere on the street. They came to the on the outside of, of course. Yeah. So they wanted to come in and, and get into our club. And they refused Ronaldinho because he was wearing some sort of a hat or so, I don't know the <laughs> reason. Style, still, yeah. still today, I don't know the exact reason. But they said, no, you can't come in. When I knew, when, when, when the, my Was that my the end friend, of your club? No, it was not the end of the club. And I was like, excuse me, one of the best players of all time wanted to have a, I don't know, a, a vodka cranberry <laughs> at our place. And you, you said no to this guy, but we let him like, like people that yeah, yeah. would not spend a dime. And, oh, man, anything. I was so disappointed. But yeah. You no, survived. No, Ronaldinho. Yeah, no, well, it, Why? imagine what, what would have oh. happened. You would have gotten out of the pajamas and drifted. I wish I was there, though, because, yeah. you know, what? Well, I, I would have fixed exactly. that. Uh, we're talking with Ben Gagnon in studio at TSN 690 in the first half. We're going to take a quick break. Will you stick with us? We're going to have one more question. Then we're doing 12, twi 12 questions. Okay. And then... Uh, well, I'll have 12 answers, man. I know you will, man. So I will. We'll be right back after this brought to you. Uh, <laughs> the first half is brought to you by Kankiri Notre Dame, 135 years. Wow. I love it's that. It's amazing. 135 years. Mm. Yeah. We'll be back right after this. Don't sweat the technique, is, right? Is that That's... from your uh, personal uh, playlist? You love it. I know you love I'm it. I'm loving this. Woo! I'm loving this. Welcome back to TSN 690. The first half, we're joined in studio with none other than Ben Wagner. That's my right. gosh, that story, uh, that Boca story, that oh. play story, brilliant. I would love to live that with you. I, I would love to experience a, a game over there with you. Never been to uh, to uh, Argentina? No. First of all, that's it's beautiful. People are kind, and it's 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 so beautiful. But when they talk about sports, I mean, they like are crazy about it. Yeah. No, I can imagine. Um, that and rugby. They're, and they're, rugby. they're big rugby fans. Big, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. The Pumas, I think. Uh, is it? I, I'm not sure of the name of the league, but I know I know Argentinian rugby is it's yes. huge. Um, okay. So we have a question. Before we get to 12 questions, I did have a question I wanted to bring up again. It's part of your story. Yeah. You have a lot of things on the go, but yes. I wanted to highlight one or two things that Thank are going you. on right now specifically within the food and uh, beverage industry. So can you tell us one or two projects that you are really deep in yes. as we speak? Well, we have a uh, brewery since uh, 2017 called uh, Brasserie Amiral, Amiral Brewery, and we are selling beer here in Quebec uh, in about, I would say, 1,100 uh, locations. Um, and it's, it, 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 it's a fun business. We started that four guys. We, uh, pitch, uh, we pitched in like 2000 bucks each and we created that, uh, brewery right now. And, uh, we might sell some beer in 2025 in the States. Yeah. That's where we're it's aiming beautiful. right it's now. Really yeah, I know. We've been, you know, we've been working on that for the last eight months or something. Cause you don't want to lose your house out of this. Yeah. Uh, but you have to, uh, you know, take your, take your time, ask the questions and, and, and be kind to the people who uh, help you. And, uh, I'm the kind of guy who I, I love results and I'm, I'm a hard worker and I don't mind hours and stuff like that, but that's, that's me. And on a team, if you want to, you know, if you want to win as a team, you have to respect us. The, the, like the pace of the others. Right. And uh, uh, so far, so good. I have good partners and uh, I wish, I, I, you know what? I, I would love to experience selling beers, uh, selling beer in the U.S. I would love that. Sure, that's a, that's yeah. a whole other market. Uh, what's up with the um, the restaurant? Restaurant? I'm, uh, Gerard, you describe it. I'm part owner right now of uh, two restaurants, one in uh, Boucherville mm -hmm. and one uh, in Laval since it, we opened in Laval uh, a month ago. Right. It's called, thank you, man. It's called Madame Bovary. And it's a, it's a very, uh, 
can I say festive? Yeah. Festive restaurant. Yeah. It's not a supper club, but kind of. It's got energy. Energy, good energy, good music. You know, the, the vibe is good here tonight. Our music is like that uh, at the restaurants. We love, we love, you know, it's for everybody. If you want to, if you enjoy food, good service, people, a, a good vibe. Ambiance. No one is playing like, look at me. I'm, I can buy big bottles. We're not, we're not there. We, we love food. We love music. We love people. And that's what we do. Ben, uh, what about, uh, we want to talk a little water? I can talk about water because we're launching something next Tuesday. Are we allowed to talk about that? We do what we want to do. Well, you did it. This is, this is your... Well, part. you're not, you're not going you're, you're to see like uh, the cans today. So yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I can tell you that we're launching a uh, water company next it's Tuesday here, here in Montreal. Super proud of that. We, uh, we are selling uh, water in cans because plastic is, is bad for your health. I, I saw a, um, a, um, a study that came out from Sweden like a month ago. And uh, we knew that uh, in plastic bottles, you, you drink like little uh, parts micro. Of, of micro parts of, of plastic. Micro plastic. Yeah. And I didn't know that in one, a, a one liter bottle, there's 250 million little parts, mini particles of whatever the, the correct uh, word is. But when the study came out, they were like, it's, three times what we thought it was. Wow. It's that crazy. But plastic, it's everywhere. We're trying to get rid of it. We're trying to make a difference. Hearing your part. Uh, to be, uh, uh, can I say, eco-responsible. Yep. So we're working on that. And uh, here in Quebec, you know, we're not used to pay for water. It's everywhere. We, we you know, it's, it's not a problem sure. here. But in many countries, we we have to think about them because it's, it's, a, it's a huge problem. So... We found that uh, that lake that uh, is in uh, high altitude here in Quebec, uh, near Tetford Mines, and uh, that water is naturally filtered through the rocks Beautiful. of the mountain over there. So at the base of the mountain, we're there and we are grabbing that uh, that uh, blue gold, and uh, we are selling it in cans because it's it's a hundred percent. How do you say that? Say it in French. Recyclable. Yeah. Recyclable. 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 Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Amazing. And uh, we just want to make a little difference. Uh, where this will go, I don't know, but uh, we're proud of it. It's a premium water. It's very good. We've been testing the water with. You did, You've been testing that? the water with the water? No, did, you, uh, did you know that there's, uh, you know, um, how do you say that? Uh, not winemakers, but uh, the sommeliers. The sommelier. Yeah. Yep. There's sommelier, of course, for wine, but now there's sommelier for water. Of course. I didn't know that. Yes. And I met a guy who's doing this right now, and he's, he's selling, like, sellers to NBA players and baseball players. He's selling, like, like stuff for water now. Uh, it's crazy. Amazing, so yeah. The guy is like, let's product. say LeBron James buys, uh, you know, uh, t t bottles that uh, are worth $2,000 or something, but he's paying, like, 500 bucks for some water from around the world. It's kind of crazy. So he needed uh, that that water seller had its place. So that's what they're doing. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that LeBron won't drink our water. You but, never you know. know, man. Because he, I know. If he comes I, in Montreal, I, have, or you know. he listens to the first half anywhere. Oh, and he's like, Ron, come on, man. Come on. It's, Run it's, it. it's good for you and your kid. Come on. Ben, we are going to ask you 12 questions. Okay. I know we can't keep you all night long, but I think we can just keep talking and talking. So would yes. you uh, will you join us on this adventure? Let's just go. Little, little ditty. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm ready. Go. Twelve questions with Quebec personality Benoit again. I, I got to ask you something though, because yes, you said, "Are you ready for that little ditty?" There's no baby oil on, in the studio right now. Ooh. Okay, we you. can't. You can't go down this direction here on the first half. You, you man. said that. I'm like, I got the man. ditty. It's like it's like scatty cat. It's like okay. I like slang. That. Twelve questions. Twelve questions for Benoit again <laughs> on the first half on TSN See? six ninety. Offended. Offended. <laughs> Question one, how offended can I get with Ben? No, okay, question one. Yes. What is your favorite film? Favorite film? Oh, my God. Uh, the Breakfast Club. What is your favorite song or band? Metallica. I've seen them 29 times, and, 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 I'm, and I'm trying to figure out where will be my 30th concert because I want to make sure that it'll be one to remember. Sounds good. Yeah. That's a great answer. Yeah. Number three, favorite sports team? I'm from Quebec City. I'm a big Nordic fan. Like, Fav like, I was going to school across the street. I would go and see practices. There was an old uh, security agent who would leave a door open for us, my friend and I, to make sure that we could hit the morning skate every day. Wow. I had like 
and I'm not kidding, maybe 250 autographs from uh, Peter Stastny. Yes, look. Yeah. Man, you were he, he would sign. Stars, he would yeah. sign all the time. He would see us every every morning, and he, he would sign our uh, our little book there. More than favorite athlete, dead or alive? Uh oh, God, Michael Jordan. What's your favorite food? I love steaks, man. I can eat steak every day. What is your favorite drink? Alcoholic and non-alcoholic. Water, of course. I drink a lot of water. That that's because that's because I love drinking water that I'm starting the company. And uh, I have a good spicy margarita. I like this. We're doing 12 questions with Ben Gagnon in the first half from TSN 690. Number seven, sir, what would be the first thing you would buy if you won the lottery? A Porsche 911 black. Black on black on black on black on black. Number eight, dream trip. Dream trip, Japan. I've never, you know, look at my arms, man. It's all it's all Jap Japan all over there. I used to host a ski show on TV, and I did that for five years. And two years in a row, we were supposed to go and ski in Japan. It was canceled like three months before we uh, left, so it, it was it was a tough one. Always close. But I my my wife worked in Japan. My my oldest son went to Japan. I need to go to Japan. That sounds yes. like I'm jumping in your suitcase. How do you deal with stress? Number nine. I'm not very stressed at all. Like really, I I, I don't get. Like stressed by much, I wouldn't say. Uh, but music, it's it's always there's always music playing at home in my car, uh, and depends of my moods. But uh, mostly music, I would say. Amazing pajamas yeah. or no pajamas for the ladies out there. None of your business. None of your business is the answer <laughs> from Benny. I can I can sleep with with clothes. That, that's impossible. Well, then that's the answer. Yes. Number eleven. What is your favorite fashion brand at the moment? At the moment, I'm a big Nike guy. Like, you know. You know that okay. I, you know that I designed my shoes for yeah. Golden this year. Yeah, I know. Yeah, right. I did I that. Design your I designed boots. them on, online. I, I received them, Beautiful. and yeah. I remember seeing that photo. Now I need to score with those cleats. Yeah, you get there. You get there. <laughs> Number twelve. Name one thing you cannot live without. Uh, my family. Beautiful. It, it's it's the it, the answer. I mean, the everything that I do is for them. Amazing. Uh, out, out of passion, but it's it's all for them. Uh, I got one. I'm going to ask you for one word. So oh, so football it. is, and then you're going to give me one word. I think it was 12 questions. Yeah, but this is the 12.1. Offended. Don't offend me. Offended. All right, 12.1. <laughs> one word to describe football. Football is? Fun to watch. So fun. It's fun to watch. I love it. Man. It's fun to watch. You know, we have one life to live. You need to have fun. I love to watch a good game. I love to watch... I love to watch them like argue. I I I don't enjoy the part, the diving part for me. I understand it. I get it. But you know, part of the it's acting sometimes, and it's bad acting. Ben Gun, uh, Ben Wagen, y'all, thank you so much for joining. Love you, big guy. Studio. Man, this has been amazing on the first half on TSN six ninety. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much for the uh, invitation. I'm super happy to start my weekend with you guys here. Yeah, and really uh, good luck with everything, especially the Thanks, last man. This week, man. Yeah, Thank you very much. Are you coming over? Or? Yeah, we'll do our best, man. Oh, we'll you, drink some oh, you, you, you probably have some. Okay, I'm offended again. We'll be right back after this uh, message here on TSN six ninety. Offended. <laughs>